Hi, welcome to another episode of His Turn, Her Turn. I'm Lauren Fix, the car coach, and we have a guest host today. How are you, Lauren? Good, good to see you. Thank this you very much for having me. We've worked a lot together. I'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Javier Mota from Auto Zero to 60 on Sirius XM Radio on uh, different websites, so you can just Google me and you can find me. <laughs> Auto Zero to 60 is a great show, so if you haven't checked it out, definitely do that. Thank you, Lauren. So we're here driving the 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander. We've driven quite a bit of them, actually. We drove the 2015. Which was great to see the comparison, really, like to see how it has improved. It really has, and there's a hundred new improvements. So we're gonna actually show you some of those improvements, not just safety, exterior, interior. I mean, what did you think was best so far? I think uh, a lot of the cosmetic things that they've done with it, but also, actually the, the safety features. The lane change departure is there on the previous generation, but it's even better in forward collision mitigation. But I, it has, still has that Rockford Fosgate sound system. And that's great also. And I, I drove the GT with, with mm -hmm. the V6 engine, 224 horsepower. And that's great. I mean, for this size of vehicle, it's more than enough. Absolutely. And then there's also, of course, the four-cylinder option. It comes two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. But uh, we're going to take it for a spin. Yeah, let's go. We'll give you some you driving impressions. Sure, I'll drive. Okay. okay. So here we are after a fabulous lunch at this incredible winery. What have you and everything we had? Huh? The food was good. <laughs> Nothing like always, good food, it's, uh, it's no always. wine. We didn't drink the wine. Oh, well, no. Because we're, we're we still driving. Exactly. We're still driving, yes. Later, we'll drink the wine. Exactly. So let's go. This is the four cylinder model. Right. So we're not gonna experience all the power that the GT has, but this is really yeah. good enough, I think. I think so. This is this is a big take rate for them. This is nice. I like the notches and, and the steering wheel. Yeah, I think they improve a lot in Piano the Piano black, which is yeah. unfortunately a huge dust collector. I know. Which and drives me nuts. That, the only thing I don't really am a fan of this is like these material, these panels that are like obviously not wood. Mm -hmm. They're plastic, and and it's these a at least of wood. Exactly. At least this one, it's. It matches the color of the rest. Right. When they have a wood looking thing, I, I really don't like that. I don't know why they think that's premium because uh, I it's don't not. Know. It, and this is this one's got the AWC, which is the all wheel control, so you can go off road or eco or normal yeah. or snow. And so let's go and, uh, and, right. and try that a little bit. And Those third row headrests are funny looking. Well, yeah, I know. But, but it's, it's a federal government law, so you can always take them down and put them in the back. So one of the other things that they really mention and make a big deal about it is like the, how quiet it is, and it, it really is. It's quieter than the previous generation for sure. Lauren is trying not only test driving the car but like the new Apple Watch. Apple Watch, which by the way, Mitsubishi is going to integrate that also. They're going to have both Google Auto and Apple CarPlay, so my watch will integrate, my phone will integrate. It looks just like the screen. We're yeah, and they just gave us a, a really good demonstration of it and works perfectly. Even though we have to say when you go to a remote location as it just happened with your phone when you don't have enough coverage you're gonna lose the use of that too. You know, driving the predecessor was a really smart move. Open oh, it says brake. It's telling me brake intervention. This is you can see the difference in the previous generation and the current one and one of the things is this forward collision mitigation. So as long as your cruise control is on it'll tell you hey you're getting a uh, coming up on this car quickly and we can calculate you'll probably hit them if you keep going at this speed. So the other thing that Mitsubishi show us today is like how they're trying to change their image because even though the product is great I mean there's a lot of people that as we were saying in the introduction they don't give it a chance and I think this car at least I think is worth doing that. It has a little bit of everything for everybody I think. Oh I have to say you know when you're the David and the Goliath of gigantic companies their main competitors being Nissan and Ford and GM and Honda and Toyota and Mazda they have huge marketing budgets and I, I think one of the things that um, Mitsubishi really has going for it besides price, which it's always had going for it, is now you've got a car that competes in the fastest growing segment, which is a crossover utility I segment. I want to switch drivers with you in a little bit because I want to get your opinion of driving this. So as you can tell, this is a very twisty road. The speed limit is 35. And no one's doing 35. We're going a little bit faster than it's that. It's a mile or two over. But again, like the handling is really good. It's nice and tight. Yeah, it's not a super powerful car, but it's more than enough for this kind of vehicle, really. Excellent. You don't need anything more than this. So I had a chance to drive, and you had a chance to drive all three versions. So what do you think? 
I think it's really great. I mean, for this segment, which is ultra competitive, you start like around 22 and go around a little bit over 30. Right. You get a lot for this kind of car. I think people right. should like uh, know about Mitsubishi, but sometimes they don't explore it as much, and I think they should with this vehicle. I think they overlook Mitsubishi, and it's a shame because they do have a great product. So this is one of the things that, uh, the highlights for me is it handles better. Absolutely. It looks better yeah. all the way around. Everything from the standard 18 inch wheels, the LED headlights and tail lights. I mean, they did a nice job redesigning this. Yeah, and a lot of nice uh, detailing the interior, which I really like. And because again, for the price, you get a lot. I mean, you expect that maybe in a car that is much more expensive. Yeah, than that. when you look at it, it looks like a $40,000 car. Exactly. So when you're looking for a, you know, a crossover utility, definitely put this on your drive list for sure. Absolutely, at least they give it a try. It's, it's worth doing it. Right, well, thank you for riding with us no, today. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, nice to check, see you next time. Yeah, check out I'll have you. I'll let him give you all the details. But I'm Lauren Fix, the car coach. Leave your comments below, especially if you take it for a test drive. Check out some of our other episodes, not just the ones that I do, but the ones with Paul Bryan. And of course, check out yeah, Javier. I'm not Paul Bryan, by the way. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you Thank want to you. give him your information? Where can they find you and Absolutely. follow you on Twitter? Just like, uh, uh, Hashtag Javier Mota anywhere in Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. So. And I'm at laurenfix.com with breaking news. No matter what's going on in the automotive world, you can follow us. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.